Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about 74139 Jewel 224 decoder. 74139 it is an IC number. 74 LS139. LS means low power short key, which is used for the short key transistors which consume low power. Such type of transistors we use for the implementation of this integrated circuit. Okay, so 74 LS139, 139. Remember the number because numbers are so many numbers are there. If you go for 74138, that gives you 328 decoder. 138 that is 328 decoder IC number, but it is 74 LS139, which is a 224 decoder, but this IC consists of two 224 decoders. Two 224 decoders. Okay, when you when it comes to the ICs. Uh, we may not have all active high pins sometimes we are also having active low pins okay so uh, that's why in the integrated circuit part you must be very cautious that which are the active low pins which are the active high pins you must be carefully understand so first one 74 ls139 or 74x139 it is a 224 decoder it is a 224 decoder consists of two sets two sets of 224 decoders okay now let us see the ic representation the ic representation is like this so it is 74 you better write the name inside the ic 74139 74139 now it is having one enable pin which is active low active low enable pins are active uh, low any type of active low pins must be represented like this a bubble in front of the IC box Okay, it is enable pin inside it is having the name 1g 1g and Input pins we are having active high input pins. This is first pin and this is second pin It is 1b and it is 1a okay and we can name it as a not a1 see these uh, names are for our programming and uh, this is also active low pin so active low pin generally represented as underscore l underscore l wherever you are having underscore l that represents it is an active low pin okay what do you mean by active low pin if we are giving zero the chip is activated if we give one the chip is deactivated that is the meaning of active low and active high pins okay and coming to the output side we are all we are having four outputs all four outputs are active low pins so that's why this is first second third fourth in the previous representations we have not shown this type of bubble representation this bubble represents the pin is active low that means it works with zero it will not work with one <coughs> That is the meaning of active low. So it is y not underscore l. Wherever you are having this low level representation, there you better keep underscore l for better understanding. So y2 underscore l and y3 underscore l. <coughs> okay, this is the IC representation for 74139 one decoder suppose if you go to the second decoder it is having 2g 2b 2a hope you understand why i have taken one in front of the enable pin and as well as the input pins okay so there are two sets of two sets of 224 decoders in 74139 so this is first set similarly we are also having the second set of 224 decoder which consists of 2g as enable pin and 2b 2a are the input pins okay so enable pin in this particular sound 4 ls138 decoder enable pin is active low outputs are active lows and all input pins are active high active high okay so the representation is active low 
and here also it is active low okay now i will write here active low means active low means it works with it works with zero and it does not work does not work with one okay it works with zero and it does not work with one that is the meaning of active low <coughs> now coming to a simple truth table for this decoder see we are studying about a single decoder in this 74139 jewel 224 decoders second decoder is also same but the numbers are different okay so enable underscore low which is an active low pin and two input pins a1 a0 and four outputs y3 underscore l y2 underscore l y1 underscore l y0 underscore l <coughs> now so enable pin let us consider enable equal to 1 enable equal to 1 so as enable pin is equal to 1 the chip will not respond for any of the input cases because enable equal to 1 means it is in deactivate state it is in disable state okay because it is active low pin it, it enables only when we give 0 but as it is 0 as it is 1 irrespective of the input cases all outputs now tell me what is the all outputs all output should be 1 or 0 so 0 means activated so all output should be 1 because the outputs are all active low now coming to enable pin equal to 0 now as enable pin equal to 0 as it is an active low pin now the chip is activated and depend on depends on the input combinations the output will be coming out so the 0 0 for 0 0 0 th pin is activated so as it is active low pin it is activated means 0 and remaining all are deactivated okay previously we have studied the same operation but there we have considered active high all are active high it is a generic normal representation but now coming to ic representation ic representation maximum of the uh, pins are active low so 0 0 1 again 0 1 0 0 1 1 now 0 1 means this pin is activated and remaining all are ones and this is y2 and this is y3 this is what the 224 decoder ic representation and it's a truth table okay now let us see how to write the vhdl code for this truth table vhdl code vhdl code so we know very well in vhdl code we write the first library library i triple e use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all entity 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 we know very well entity is the place where we declare what are the inputs and what are the outputs module module what are the output and what are the inputs so entity decoder decoder you better write ic sound for otherwise ic sound for <coughs> for better understanding you can also take like this entity IC 74139 is port of enable which is an active low. See, go to the block diagram. We are having enable pin and a a not a one as inputs and all y are outputs active low. So enable active low in std underscore logic <coughs> a which is of two bit in 
एस टी डी लॉजिक वेक्टर ऑफ वन डाउन टू जीरो बिकॉज इट इज ए टू बिट इनपुट एंड कमिंग टू आउटपुट वाई अंडर स्कोर एल आउट एस टी डी अंडर स्कोर लॉजिक अंडर स्कोर वेक्टर ऑफ वट इज द साइज फोर बिट सो थ्री डाउन टू जीरो थ्री डाउन टू जीरो एंड आई सी सेवन फोर वन थ्री नाइन दिस इज द मॉड्यूल इनपुट एंड आउटपुट नो कमिंग टू द आर्किटेक्चर आर्किटेक्चर सी लेट एस एंसर फर्स्ट डेटा फ्लो मॉडल data flow underscore ic 74139 of ic 74139 is signal x signal x we are taking a signal because enable pin is equal to 0 then output is coming otherwise it is there is no output that's why we need to just take a signal intermediate signal x std underscore logic underscore vector of 3 down to 0 to compatible with the size of the output begin so i am taking here in the data flow model conditional statement so in data flow conditional statement is with the selector so with With A select what is the input here A A not A one X is equal to X is equal to so output is one 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 zero isn't it see go to the truth table see output is one 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 second line one 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 zero when A is zero zero okay when Zero zero on when zero zero on input pin here, and similarly one one zero one in double quotes when zero one comma one zero one one when one zero comma zero one 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 when what do you have to write here not one one it is simply others because others specifies it is the last line of the conditional statements but this all happens this all happens when enable pin is zero see this all happens when enable pin is equal to zero what happens when enable equal to one output is simply all ones so y underscore l is assigned with the intermediate signal x when enable underscore l is equal to 0 else y is equal to simply all ones semicolon end end uh, ic 74139 okay this is what the hdl code for ic 74139 single decoder and as well as its operation thank you